Okay, um, here we are in lesson, sorry, lesson eight, video two. And here you can see where you're going to use a number line. And this is the question that's in your book. So if you could go ahead and work on this and give it a try using the number line, go ahead and try it using the number line. See what you can do. Three fourths of two fifths. Okay, maybe you have something similar to what I have. I went ahead and broke my first fifth into one, two, three, four parts, and I marked out three of those, right? Because I'm taking three fourths. You can see one, two, three, four sections, three fourths of one fifth, and then three fourths of the next fifth. So that would give me one, two, three, four, five, six, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So why is it not six eighths? Why is it six twentieths? Right? Because it's two fifths of a whole. Remember when we drew our area models, we drew the whole square, not just two fifths of the square. So even though I'm only taking three fourths of two fifths, my two fifths is going to be 20 pieces. All right. So let's think about that just one minute as with a square. So if I have my square and then I have two fifths, I'm going to have four lines. That makes five parts. And here's my two fifths, right? But I still have the other three fifths. And then I'm going to make three lines going this way to make my three fourths. There's my three fourths, and you can see that my overlap of the two fifths and the three fourths is going to be this section here, which is six, but six out of a total of 20. Okay, so pay close attention to that. We're taking it out of the whole, we're not stopping at our fraction. All right, very important for you to understand. Okay, um, if you didn't get this written down, you can pause me and get it written down because I'm going to erase it and it does need to be in your notes. Okay, very good. Um, let's look at two fifths times four fifths. What does that mean? Two fifths of four fifths. Let's draw a model. Okay, and we need five parts, right? And two of them, oh, I'm just going to mark it right to the two-fifths right there, okay? And four-fifths. Actually, I should have done the four-fifths first. Let's just make this the four-fifths. I'll put a line over here that says four fifths because it's two fifths of four fifths. So I want to start with the four fifths because that's the one I'm taking a part of. Does that make sense? Right? My four fifths. And then I'm going to take two fifths of my four fifths. So let's use green. Also going to be five sections and two-fifths
So, oh, I don't know what happened there. That would be my block, right? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in my block, but a total of 25 parts because five times five is 25. You can see that I have 25 parts there. Is it reasonable that two fifths of four fifths is eight twenty fifths? Two fifths is less than one. Eight twenty fifths is less than four fifths. So yeah, that's very reasonable. So we always want to check for reasonableness and make sure it makes sense. Let's do one more. Make sure you have this written down because I'm going to erase it. Okay, let's go to number two in your book. Sasha buys a bag of almonds that weighs two thirds of a pound. Two thirds of a pound. She uses three fourths of the bag to make trail mix. How many pounds of almonds does she use to make the trail mix? So she's using three fourths of her bag and her bag weighs two thirds. So she's using three fourths of two thirds. Okay. Now you could use a area model. You could use a number line. You could use either of them to show what you're understanding, but you do need to show it um, in one of those ways, not just multiply straight across, because remember that in this lesson, we are showing the understanding of it so that we're really getting um, the deep understanding of what it means. And I'll show you, let's get to it here. Sorry, wrong one. All right, here we go. And you could use either which of these that you want to. Um, maybe you like the number line. One, zero, one third, two thirds, three thirds. Notice they're all broken into four parts because we're doing three fourths of two thirds. So then we're coloring three of those and we're coloring in three of those. We only are doing three fourths of two thirds, so we're not gonna color past there but we are going to have them broken down just like how we have the entire square broken down. So three times two is six, four times three is 12, six twelfths, the top number is half of the bottom number. So it is equal to one half. We can do the same thing with our square here. Um, we're going to show two thirds. So we're going to have three sections with um, two of them colored in. And then we're going to have four sections with three of them colored in. We only look at the overlap because we're taking three fourths of our two thirds. And that also shows one half. So like I said, make sure that you are showing your work in either a number line or an area model. You can do both if you want to. That's up to you. Thanks for paying such great attention. I'll see you in the next video. I can get down to where it needs to go to turn it off. All right. Aloha.